Now this abstract looks at the effects of corn particle size and diet form on finishing pig growth performance and carcass characteristics. Now previous data conducted at Kansas State University, uh, particularly by DeYoung and others in 2013, has shown that reducing corn particle size or feeding pellets uh, does increase growth performance. However, in that previous trial by DeYoung and others, the entire corn fraction was ground using either a roller mill or a hammer mill. But little information is available on feeding a blend of varying corn particle sizes. Now the reason that we may be interested in this is because blending can increase the throughput in commercial feed mills. And really what I mean by that is that, for example, if a feed mill has both uh, one roller mill and one hammer mill, this gives them the option of using each of those grinding machines uh, to reduce the particle size at the same time, run both machines at once, and this would uh, allow you to grind corn faster and perhaps overcome um, some of the time that it takes uh, to, to really grind the feed, which may slow down feed, uh, feed output of the mill. Now the objective of this trial was to determine the effects of blending corn particle sizes either 650 microns or 350 microns, and also diet form, which was meal versus pellet, on finishing pig growth performance and carcass characteristics. There were 960 finishing pigs used in a 101 day trial. These pigs were initially 34.3 kilograms in body weight. There were eight pigs per treatment with 20 pigs per pen and each pen contained a five hole feeder, a cup water, and they were provided ad libitum access to feed and water. This trial was conducted at the New Fashion Pork Research Facility. There were six dietary treatments, and these were arranged as a two by three factorial structure. There were two diet forms, which were meal or pellet, and there were three corn particle sizes. Now the coarsest, um, was a 650 micron corn ground by a roller mill. The finest was a 350 micron corn ground by a hammer mill. And then the third corn particle size was actually a blend of those two. So it was a blend of the 650 micron and the 350 micron ground corn. Diets were fed in four phases being from day 0 to 26, 26 to 46, 46 to 73, and the final phase was 73 to 101. All diets were manufactured at New Fashion Pork's commercial feed mill in Estherville, Iowa, and the particle size of corn samples and complete diets in meal form was determined, and feed samples were also taken at the feeder during each phase um, particularly with the pelleted diets, and that gave us a representative sample of what the actual pig was eating. So with those pellets, uh, we determined PDI, or pellet durability index, and we also determined percentage fines. Now on day 87, the pins were weighed, and the six heaviest pigs, which were selected by the marketing serviceman, were removed and harvested at Triumph Foods. Now on day 101, the remaining pigs were transported to Triumph Foods for harvest, and yield was calculated using the farm live weight and the plant hot carcass weight. In terms of statistical analysis, all data were analyzed using the PROC mix procedure in SAS. Again, this was arranged as a 2 by 3 factorial treatment structure, and PIN was the experimental unit for all data analysis. I want to take a brief look at the treatment diets used in this experiment. Again, it's split up by phase, phases one, two, three, and four. Now these were corn and soybean meal based diets with 30% DDGS, 1.5% beef tallow. Now what I think is really important to point out um, in this trial is that the corn, so the, the uh, main effect of corn particle size is obviously one of the treatments and keep in mind that the percentage of the diet for corn range from 48 up to about 63 percent 
Now this is the calculated analysis for each of the treatment diets, um, or by phase, excuse me, where the lysine level started at 1.01, .01, um, was reduced to down in phase two and in phase three, and then was increased again to 0.9% in phase four, and this is because ractopamine was in the diet for the final phase. Now looking at the particle size analysis, um, when analyzing the corn particle size, uh, the target again for the hammer milled, or excuse me, roller milled corn was 650 microns. And here we were very, very close to that target, um, ranging from 616 to 681. And again, we were also extremely close to our um, finer end, which was hammer milled corn. We were targeting 350 microns. And as you can see, we were very, very close to that target. Now in terms of total diet particle size uh, for the meal diets, the trends look exactly like you would expect to where the pigs fed the diets containing the 650 micron corn did have um, the highest particle size and then uh, particle size decreased as you were fed as pigs were fed the blend or uh, decreased again when pigs were fed the hammer milled corn. For the pellet quality analysis um, we ran standard PDI as well as mo modified PDI. Um, all of these numbers look exceptionally well for the standard PDI. They uh, ranged f f from 92 um, to up to 98 and here for modified PDI um, the PDIs range from 87 to 92 so again the it had exceptional pellet quality and in terms of percentage fines uh, the percentage fines range anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 percent of the diet. Now moving into the growth data for this trial, um, first I want to focus on the overall average daily gain, where average daily gain will be shown on the y-axis. On the x-axis will be the corn particle sizes that were fed, uh, either 650 microns, um, a 50-50 blend, or the 350 microns. So from coarsest to finest as you move from left to right, now, the pigs fed the meal diets are in the green bars. Pigs fed the pelleted diets are in the blue bars. Now, there was a particle size linear effect where decreasing particle size um, decreased average daily gain. There was also an effect uh, for meal versus pellet where pigs fed the pelleted diets did have increased average daily gain compared to those fed the meal diets. Now, in this slide, we're looking at average daily feed intake for the entire trial. Now we did see a particle size linear by diet form effect. And basically what this means is that for pigs fed the pelleted diets in the blue bars, as particle size decreased, there was no decrease in average daily feed intake. However, uh, pigs fed the meal diets as, as um, particle size was reduced, uh, so was average daily feed intake. So that's what caused the significant interaction that we saw. There was also a particle size linear by diet form interaction for overall feed efficiency. And here there were, uh, for pigs who had the pelleted diets in the blue bars, as particle size decreased, there were slight numeric decreases in feed efficiency. However, for pigs who had the meal diets, um, as particle size decreased, there were uh, slight numeric increases in gain to feed. And so again, this caused the pigs fed the 650 micron corn diet to have a greater magnitude of differences, or excuse me, of difference for feed efficiency. And then uh, as you get to the finest ground corn, which was 650, there was very little difference uh, between meal versus pellet in terms of gain to feed. Uh, looking at uh, hot carcass weight, um, there was no uh, significant particle size difference. Um, however, pigs fed the pelleted diets did have uh, increased hot carcass weights compared to those fed the meal diets. 
And then looking at Carcass Shield, um, neither main effect uh, had any influence on uh, the Carcass Shield of the pigs in this trial. So there's no difference between the different particle sizes or feeding meal versus pelleted diets. So in conclusion, we saw a linear particle size by diet form interaction for average daily feed intake and gain to feed. Now this was caused because grinding corn finer than 650 microns, it lowered the average daily feed intake and improved gain to feed for pigs fed the meal diets, but not for pigs fed the pelleted diets. Pigs fed the pelleted diets did have improved growth performance compared to those fed meal, yeah, but the greatest magnitude of feed efficiency improvement um, to pelleted diets occurred when the pigs were fed the 650 micron corn, so the, the coarser corn. Also, uh, the grinding corn finer than 650 microns for pelleted diets provided no additional benefit to feed efficiency. Um, also, I did want to point out, uh, we did not show all this data, but carcass yield, back fat, loin depth, and lean percent were not influenced by particle size or by diet form. I want to thank you all very much. I want to thank uh, New Fashion Pork in particular. They were a pleasure to work with. Thank you for helping us design the trial, collect the data, uh, usage of the facilities. I want to thank uh, USDA and also National Institute of Food and Agriculture uh, for the funding of the grant.